An unusual oil spill has decimated a salmon run on a Lewis County Creek. Como Force Mark Miller explains this fish kill was caused by a fire. Oliqua Creek, revered by Native Americans for its salmon run, now decimated by an oil spill. Seeing something like this, this extensive on this, you know, beautiful creek, it's tough. State hazmat specialists put crews to work as soon as the fire department called early Tuesday morning to report a developing environmental emergency caused by a storage warehouse full of groceries burning out of control. Tragic. Tragic, you know. It's pretty close to the warehouse that I work at. And flames could have jumped across the street. Firefighters realized something besides water from their hoses was flowing into the creek. It was cooking oil, possibly a thousand gallons or more, and cooking oil kills fish. Once oil hits the water, we essentially have lost uh, a lot of the battle. You can see a larger fish right there, and from what I can see, there are several dozen more smaller fish. And while that might not seem like a lot, you need to understand this spill has polluted a five-mile stretch of this creek. Well, right now, we're focused on aggressively getting the oil off of the water as quickly as we can. Crews are using a lot of these, large pads to absorb the oil, and two vacuum trucks sucking up thousands of gallons of contaminated water from the creek and from a containment pond around the charred remains of the warehouse. Well, it's unfortunate for that many fish to die. The State Department of Ecology does not yet know how many fish or how many more will die over the coming days. Hopefully they get it cleaned up and it uh, doesn't uh, ruin the salmon run that comes up there. In the town of Winlock, Mark Miller, Como 4 News. Investigators don't know yet what caused the fire, but the owners of the warehouse will be expected to pay for the environmental cleanup.